You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing another Mega Man X game that um, I kinda should have included in my previous video showcasing the Mega Man X games on the PlayStation Classic. Um, this is kind of special though, because this didn't really originate from the PlayStation. It was a port from the Super NES. Although they at least gave a few differences, like uh, the, the OST and a few cutscenes, actually. But wow, those are horrible. Um, I mean, the animation is very, very, very stiff. But I guess it's better than nothing. Looks like we're watching an animated version of uh, Mega Man X1. So uh, we saw the prologue and that now we're looking at the launch octopus stage. And um, lava. Who had lava? Armored armadillo? No, no, no. He didn't. And that there's vile. With the magneto helmet and all. Well, if Vile was that quick to die, why did Zero have to explode himself, leading to the events of uh, Mega Man X2? So I guess this is a little bonus, especially for uh, huge fans of the Mega Man X series. Oh, and yeah, I'm playing the Japanese version. The th This had an English version. Uh, it was only released in uh, Europe. I uh, don't have that copy though. But yeah, if um, if you're interested in playing this and you prefer English, of course, so you'd understand it, there is a English version there somewhere. So this looks like a lead up to the events of the intro of the prologue section of uh, this game. So we get more anime cutscenes. Oh, there. That's already the intro of uh, Mega Man X 3. And. Yep, so we don't understand it. And as you hear, the audio is uh, the music different and uh, I read don't really it didn't really play it but I read that the Mega Man X collection actually didn't use this version it used the Super NES version for some reason 
I don't know. Maybe they will wanted to save space. Or maybe consistency with the first three games and then the next three games. This also got released in Windows, I believe. Oh, a long time ago, I guess. But the the older Mega Man X collection, the one that came out for PlayStation 2 and GameCube, it actually included the, this version. I, I mean, the one with the cutscenes and the different music, not the Super NES version. And as you see, unlike in Mega Man X4, Zero here plays mostly with a buster. So unlike uh, later versions where you're strictly a Z-Saber. Supposed to. There you go. And um, all right, we're back to regular X. There's actually a lot more Super Nintendo or Super Famicom ports on the PlayStation One. So uh, that's uh, what I like about the PS1, I guess. It had games from a lot of generations. It had old arcade classics, it's 80s, some NES games actually as well, and even Super Nintendo ports. The other famous one, I guess, is the Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy, although those got a bad rap for having uh, terrible load times. There is also Parodius, one of the Parodiuses also ported, oops I didn't know who I chose. And there is another cutscene. So that's interesting. The selecting a robot master gives you a short, short cutscene. Something that they stopped doing after this one. You'd think that they keep on doing that for the next few X games. Anyway, I don't think this should be the first stage I. I should be going through but that's I guess that could be my cue and uh, that's it for this video this is Rockman X3 or Mega Man X3 on the PlayStation Classic and no this is not a SNES um, uh, core this is the PlayStation core and uh, sorry about that I thought I could land there. And yeah, again, there's an English version of this. You can uh, try to look for that copy. And you can have a lot of Mega Man on your PlayStation Classic. Something, this is at least uh, a game I could recommend to be put on your USB drive. And you're watching 8 bit days a week. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.